hello friends welcome back uh, so guys today's session we will uh, discuss how to implement the flat file connector so in wm io tenant how you can create a flat file connector connector so let's start the demo here very first you need to select the project wm io training so whatever project you created you can select and then click on the connectors option here there are a pre like predefined connector, rest connector, soap connector, own premises, and a flat file connector. So we are looking for a flat file connector. So just select a flat file connector and click on add connectors. Okay. So there are two ways. Either you can create manually, yeah, from scratch. The user can create import from file. Okay. So we have a sample file. Uh, I just upload it. So import. From uh, like import from file and select this browse files options. Okay, so I, I already create one flat file, so I just save here and browse it here. Okay, so let me show you my flat file. Here there are total four records, three columns. So this is first column, second column, and third column. First, this is invoice ID, country, and device. Okay, so how you can create? So once you uploaded, let me delete this. Okay, so once you uploaded this flat file, click on next option. Here you can give the user defined name, invoice. Then click on next option so here we can add the delimiter slash n it means new line and here you can uh, like in flat file having a comma separator so just select this comma here okay once you're done with that does the flat file contain a record identifier we don't have so just disable this option and here you can see we have total three records field one field two field three okay now click on next option here you can edit the record name as well so just click on this option here you can give the name as a invoice okay. and the basic thing is that like when you mention your record name don't forget to select this max repeat unlimited because in flat file having total four records so if you mention the one it will take only one record and unlimited this is for a list of like a record if you want to iterate that a time you can use this unlimited fields okay so select that one again field one you can edit give the name as a ID or second field you can also update it so click on this field and here option is available you can update it as a country again for third field field 3 click on this field here the pencil icon is available you can edit it and give the name as a model okay and then click on next so here the flat file name connector icon is there and file type is a delimiter record slash n and comma this is a separator then click on save so this flat file connector got a created invoice flat file connector got a created so i want to uh, Basically, connector we use to communicate your uh, communicate our flat file. Okay, and it's working fine or not to specify this particular condition. We have operation field, so just select this operation. Here, convert flat file to document option is available. Input output and uh, play button is available. Test operation. So click on the test operation button, and here you can pass your flat file content. Okay so just copy it and paste it here 
so make sure that you can click on this three icon then you can paste to avoid a human error okay so click on the run icon here you can see the invoice dt this is schema got created having total of four records okay this one is this is in the first then second you can see and third you can see and this flat file connector you can use either in a workflows or pro services okay so guys that's all about today's demonstration if you like this video then guys don't forget to subscribe like share and comment we will see you in next workshop very soon till the time stay happy stay connected and thank you so much have a great day